Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive and bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be, seeing that I know not a man? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that Holy Child which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren. For with God nothing is impossible. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. be upon you, dear cousin. <sighs> May you be strong and blessed. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this? That the mother of my Lord should come to me. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, 
The babe leaped to my womb for joy. state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath holpen his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed, forever. God and the God of our fathers raise up this child to his father and mother and let his name be called in Israel Zacharias the son of Zacharias not so not so but he should be called John None of thy kindred that is called by this name. John. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness 
and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem, shalom. shalom.
O oh Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentile and the glory of thy people Israel. Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. Yea, a sword will pierce to thy own soul, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed.
and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. How is it that you sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? I baptize thee having authority from the Almighty God as a testimony that ye have entered into a covenant to serve him. I have need to be baptized of thee. Come and start to me. Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. I baptize thee having authority from the Almighty God as a testimony that you have entered into a covenant to serve him this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased
I have no more wine. What wilt thou have me to do for thee, that will I do. For my now is not yet come. Whatsoever he saith unto you, see that ye do it. Gather the water vessels and fill them. Fill them. With water. saved for last. Make not my father's house an house of merchandise. Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles which thou doest, except God be with him. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again.
the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. How can these things be? Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? No man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven. Even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believeth on him is not condemned, but he who believeth not on him is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light has come into the world. And men love darkness more than light because their deeds are evil. For everyone who doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Give me to drink. How is it that our Jew asks drink of me, which I'm a woman of Samaria? The Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink, thou wast have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. So thou hast nothing to draw with. The well is deep. From whence then hast thou this living water? 
Art thou greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. The water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So give me of this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Go, call thy husband and come hither. I have no husband. Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saidst thou truly. Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain. And ye say that it is in Jerusalem that men ought to worship. Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, and salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is the Spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. And when he is come, he will tell us all things. I that speak unto thee am he. Ve'amech kulam tzadikim le'olam yirshu aretz netzer mata'o ma'aser yadai lehit pa'er hakiton m'yye ha'elef ve'hatsair l'goy atzum ani Adonai Bita Achishena. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind. to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Is not this Joseph's son? Ye will surely say unto me, Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, 
do you also here in thy country? Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth. Many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel, and none of them were cleansed, saving Naaman, the Syrian. Follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. Come here after me. And I will make you to become fishers of men. What have we to do with thee, O oh, Jesus of Nazareth? Thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. Holy one of God. Hold thy peace and come out of him. hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. Thank you. 
son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise, and take up thy bed and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. I say unto thee, arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Wilt thou be made whole? Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step is down before me. Rise. Take up thy bed and walk. It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. What man is that which saith unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you 
and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. What think ye? He is guilty of death. Death! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him, twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn thou not away. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? But considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how shalt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye? And behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask him a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good gifts unto them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one who heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it.
young man, I say unto thee, arise. visited his people. Art thou he who should come, or do we look for another? Go and show John again those things which he do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. And blessed is he whomsoever shall not be offended in me. What went he out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went he out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went he out for to see? Prophet? Yea. I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For John is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, and shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily, I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater prophet than John the Baptist notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was forth to come. He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking. And they say, Behold, he hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. And they say, Behold, he is a man gluttonous and a wine bibber a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Ty and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, they would have remained until this day. 
But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. I thank thee, O oh Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore I speak to them in parables. Because they seeing, see not. And hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, ye shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, and should be converted. And I should heal them. Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. 
When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but doeth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together unto the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh the tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them. Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man hath found, he hideth. And for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man, seeking goodly pearls. Who, when he hath found one pearl 
at a great price. Went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels that cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? Yeah. Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? touched my clothes. Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? Master, I have suffered an issue of blood. years and I knew if I could just touch my clothes that I would be whole daughter thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague Thank you. 
Rabbi. I beseech thee. My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her. She may be healed. She shall live. Take me to your home. Why make you this to do and weep? She is not dead, but sleepeth. <laughs> Leave this house. house this day. Let her be given something to eat. I send you to gather my sheep. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Rabbi, I beseech thee, my little daughter. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, Raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, Inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. Behold the multitude. This is a desert place, and now the time's far past. Send them away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves bread. They have nothing to eat. Give ye them to eat. Shall we go and buy 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat? 
How many loaves have you? Five and two fishes. Bring them to me. Divide the people into companies of 50 that they might be fed. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank thee for thy bounties. Amen. Cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Come. Thou little faith. Wherefore didst thou doubt? Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but labor for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. What shall we do that we might work the works of God? This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. What sign shewest thou then, that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses, gave you not that bread from heaven. But my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God 
is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Lord, evermore give us this bread. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we knew? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the law of the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. And he that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me. And I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live, by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and the dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. This isn't a hard saying. Who can hear it? Doth this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But I said unto you, there are some of you that believe not. Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. Will ye also go away? Lord, to whom shall we go? 
Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Have I not chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil. Whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But whom say ye that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed art thou, Simon bar -Jama. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me. Thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. What is a man profited? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here we shall never taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself is this little child, the same as greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followeth not us. And we forbade him, because he followeth not with us. Forbid him not. For there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is on our part. 
For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were cast into the sea. Woe well, unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Lord. How oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. And the servant therefore fell down, and worshipped him saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So, when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord, all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldst not thou have also had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do unto you. If ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother that trespasses, ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. 
But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. For whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, Master, this woman was taken in adultery, in the very act. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? What sayest thou? He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. thine accusers. Hath no man condemned thee? I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. But I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Where is thy Father? Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Who art thou? Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. 
I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, do always those things that please him. And if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me. A man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God, why can ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man Keep my saying, he shall never see death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. And hast thou seen Abraham? Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am.
come out of him. Lord. He casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest. And finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt. And his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man, out of the good treasure of the heart, bringeth forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Master, we would see a sign from thee. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. 
And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. He said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build great. There will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods. Made up for many years. Take thy needs. Eat. Drink and be merry. God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself is not rich toward God. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, God feeds. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not. They spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? For he of little faith. Seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God. And all of these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, the treasure in the heavens that faileth not. Where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Master, who did sin? This man or his parents said he was born blind. Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent to me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. 
As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Is this not he that sat and begged? This is he. No, he is like him. I am he. How were thine eyes opened? A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Where is he? I know not. How did you receive your sight? He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed, and do see. This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? What sayest thou of him? That he hath opened thine eyes. He is a prophet. Go bring his parents. Is this your son, who thou sayest was born blind? How then doth he now see? We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age. Ask him. He shall speak for himself. Give God the praise. We know that this man, Jesus, is a sinner. Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? I have told you already, and you did not hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Thou art his disciple. We are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. Why herein is a marvelous thing that you know not from whence he is. And yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. 
But if any man be a worshipper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. Thou wast altogether born in sin, and dost thou teach us? Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. Oh. Lord, I believe. For judgment I am come into this world that they which see not might see. And that they which see might be made blind. Are we blind also? If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, we see. Therefore your sin remaineth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. The wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No man taketh my life, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father.
This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if you lose one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? When he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. When he cometh home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which I had lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. When he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave to him. When he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare? I will go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came unto his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. And put a ring on his hand and shoes 
on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his eldest son was in the field. And as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked him what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come. And thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry. And would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he, answering his father, said, Lo, these many years do I serve thee. Neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. For this, thy brother was dead and is alive and was lost and is found. Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Let us go into Judea again. Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. But I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Ask of God, God will give it thee. Thy brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection of the last day. 
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Yeah, I know. I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which you come into the world. Go and bring thy sister. of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Take you away the stone. Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldst see the glory of God. hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Lazarus, Come forth.
Master is in need of rest. Please, please. Peter, James. Suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, shall in no wise enter therein. Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Which? I shall do no murder. I shall not commit adultery. I shall not steal. I shall not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All these things I have kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? One thing thou lackest. Thou wilt be perfect. Go, and so that thou hast. I give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, and follow me. Verily I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Who then can be saved? With men this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible.
By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee this authority? I also will ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I and likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John. Whence was it? From heaven or of men? If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people. For all hold John as a prophet. We cannot tell. Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them twain did the will of his father? The first. Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. But John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe him. Master, we know that thou art true and carest for no man, for thou regardest not the person of men but teach us the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not? Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. Whose is this image and superscription? Caesar's. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God. And I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Which is the first commandment of all? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might, and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Master, thou hast said the truth. There is one God, and none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Thou art not far from the kingdom of God.
of a truth. I say unto you that this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her penury has cast in all the living that she had. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two talents he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not straw. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast, that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gathered where I have not strawed. Thou artest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it to him which hath ten talents, for unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth.
when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he also say to them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was an hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall I answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine, till the kingdom of God shall come. That thou doest too quickly.
This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world. Again I leave the world and go to the Father. Behold, the hour cometh. Yea, and now is, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Simon. Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift to you as wheat. But I've prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, Strengthen thy brethren.
Oh, he shall be offended because of me this night. What is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. I am ready to go with thee both into prison or to death. I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, Glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that thy love, wherewith thou hast loved me, may be in them, and I in them. Amen. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me.
All things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will. But thine be done. Deepest thou, couldst not thou watch one hour? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Whom seek ye? Jesus of Nazareth.
I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. That the saying might be fulfilled which ye spake of them which I have given thee, if I lost none. Which my father hath given me. Shall I not drink it? State for all that hear your accusation. This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. I adjure thee by the living God that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Thou hast said. Nevertheless, if I tell you, ye will not believe. Nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man, sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. God! He hath spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? None. None. What think ye? He is guilty of death. 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 Also, was with Jesus of Nazareth. I know not what thou sayest. This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. I do not know the man. Surely thou art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Did I not see thee in the garden? I do not know this man of whom you speak.
Art thou the king of the Jews? Sayest thou this thing of thyself? Or did others tell it thee of me? Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my people fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. Art thou a king then? Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. What is truth? Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverteth the people. I have examined him before you and find no fault with this man touching those things whereof you accuse him. I have sent him to Herod. He has found that nothing worthy of death has been done. I will therefore chastise him and release him. At this time of year, one prisoner shall be released. Barabbas. Free Barabbas. What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Christ? Crucify you. Innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it.
forgive them for they know not what they do. Behold, thy son. Behold, thy mother. Father. Fear not ye, for we know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay.
I must return to the city to tell the others. Come with us. Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? So, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Mary. Rabboni. Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Communications are these that ye have one to another. As ye walk and us sat. Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and hast not known of the things which are come to pass there in these days? What things? Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women, also of our company, made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. When they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. O oh, fools! and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. Father, we offer thanks for thy bounties. 
Amen. Amen. Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? We must return to Jerusalem this very hour. trouble and why do thoughts arise in your hearts behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have have you here any meat these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. That all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. We have seen the Lord. Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Peace be unto you. Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. Reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side. Be not faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God. Thomas. Because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed.
I go a fishing. We will also go with thee. Have you any meat? Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. Bring up the fish which you have now caught. Come and dine. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Feed my lambs. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Yea. Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Feed my sheep. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? that I love thee. Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou wast young, thou girdst thyself and walkst whither thou wouldst. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands. And another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldst not. shall this man do? If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? 
follow them. Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. I send you to gather my sheep, and as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I am the Good Shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And there shall be one fold, Rabbi. and one shepherd. My little daughter, I am at the point of death. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But whom say ye that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. And he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Father, take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes, and be killed. I adjure thee by the living God, Thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Hereafter shall you see the Son of Man, sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. What further need have we of witnesses? None. None. What think ye? He is guilty of death. 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 Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Art thou the king of the Jews? Sayest thou this thing of thyself? Or did others tell it thee of me? According to your custom, at this time of year, one prisoner shall be released. Barabbas. Free Barabbas. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead. 
Yet shall he live. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to set at liberty them that are bruised. the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you that ye also love one another. Father, the hour is come. peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. <laughs> 